What's up guys? Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my latest video. Today I want to talk to you guys about all of my favorite rose base products. Um, these are all products that I've been using for over a year now. Um, they're some of my absolute favorites. I am constantly reaching for them throughout the week. So I thought it would be fun to round them all up and share them with you guys. So if you're interested in hearing more about them, just keep watching. Okay, so first up, I have the By Terry Dual Exfoliation Scrub. Um, this is probably my absolute favorite product out of all the ones I'm gonna talk to you guys about today. I have been using this for a couple years now, and it has just been the most incredible product for my skin. There's so many options out there when you're trying to choose an exfoliant, and for a while, I was kind of bouncing back and forth between a few different ones, but Ever since I started using this, I have not used any other one. It is really gentle, but it's really, really effective at the same time. So it's not gonna aggravate your skin. It's not going to be too harsh. I know some exfoliants can feel really um, sandy and gritty and almost feels like gravel on your face. Um, totally not the case with this. Uh, this is a gel-based product. It goes on really gentle, but it really does a good job of removing all the dead skin, um, that first layer, um, and just brightening up your skin and leaving it feeling really smooth. Um, so, so great. I use this about once or twice a week, and I have not had any problems with over exfoliation or it agitating my skin in any way. The other reason I really love this product is it goes directly on dry skin. So it's not gonna react with water right away and just dissolve away. So you really get enough time to work the product in all over your face. Um, some exfoliants, you have to actually put them on your skin when it's wet and I feel like they kind of melt right away and you don't get enough time to work the product in but that's not the case with this one so you can really rub it all over on your cheeks your forehead your neck and it's not going to just melt away into nothing um, so I really really like this one if you're looking for something to use a couple times a week to just kind of brighten up your skin even it out um, this is the product for you Okay, continuing on with another exfoliant. This is actually for your body. This is the Herbivore Coco Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish. Um, and it smells exactly how you would expect coconut oil and rose to smell like. It smells incredible. I love this stuff so much. Um, this was actually given to me as a gift, I think, and I don't know, I think it was like a bridesmaid's box or something like that, but ever since I discovered this, I have been obsessed with it. Just like with the By Terry Exfoliant, the texture of this is really, really smooth. So it's not overly gritty, it's not gonna um, be abrasive on your skin, and I mean, just like with your face, you wanna be careful what you're putting on your skin even like on your arms and legs. Um, so this is really, really great. It's almost like really fine sand. Um, if you've ever seen kinetic sand, um, I think that's what it's called, where it like sticks to itself and it's really smooth and um, almost soft. Um, that's what this feels like. I use this on my arms and legs, especially throughout the summer um, before I shave, especially on my legs because it leaves like a nice smooth base for when I shave. The coconut oil moisturizes my skin a little bit so I'm not overly dry, especially in this heat. Um, and it really just leaves you feeling smooth and beautiful and ready for the pool and ready to just expose those arms and legs. It's an overall body polish so you can use it pretty much anywhere. Um, I primarily use it on my arms and legs, but you know, wherever you feel like you need it, go for it. The other place that I actually use this is as a lip scrub. Because of its really fine, um, almost dull texture, it's really gentle on your lips also. Um, I know they make a lot of, of lip scrubs, but I feel like if I have this, and as you can see, it's a pretty uh, decent sized jar. You get a good amount in there. Um, let me show you guys the texture of it. So I don't know how well you can see that, but it's really fine. 
um, almost like a sandy, like a dull sand kind of texture. Because of that, it's really gentle on your lips. So I will use this if I know I'm gonna be putting lipstick on and the formula is particularly drying, um, or if I have already used something that's really dried out my lips or my lips are chapped and I just wanna have a really smooth base, um, I'll use a little bit of that. I just apply it directly with my fingers on my dry lips and then I'll rinse it off. And uh, because of that coconut oil, it's actually gonna hydrate your lips a little bit at the same time. So it's kind of a win-win situation um, this is my secret for always having smooth lips, especially when you're applying a really dark color or a really drying formula. Um, it will leave your skin and your lips feeling really smooth, really good. Um, highly recommend this one. Okay, so moving on from exfoliants to face masks. Um, this is probably hands down my favorite mask of all time overall. Um, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Rose Stem Cell Mask. Um, I've used quite a few of Peter Thomas Roth's masks and they've all been really, really great, but this is definitely my favorite one. It's also a gel based um, and I like to keep this in the fridge. So when I apply it to my skin, it's really, really cold. Something about a really cold gel formula, especially when your skin is feeling tired or you're puffy or swollen or it's just really hot outside and you need something to kind of soothe and cool down your skin, this is definitely it. Um, so like I said, I'll keep this in the fridge overnight and then I'll apply it right after I shower on clean skin. You can actually apply it um, let's see here. It says for about 10 minutes. I leave it on for a little bit longer, sometimes like 15 minutes. Um, I apply a thin layer and I just let that sit. I'll make myself some coffee, get my jade roller out and just like really work it in and then just rinse my skin off and then proceed with my skincare as usual. But you can also apply a really thin layer onto your skin and then sleep with it on overnight as more of a treatment versus a mask. This is meant to hydrate, brighten, firm your skin. Um, it's supposed to reduce the, um, the signs of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, luckily, I don't have any wrinkles yet, or not any that I've noticed, but my skin does feel tighter and brighter and just overall kind of has like a little bit of like a radiance boost after using this. Sometimes in the morning I wake up and I'm just puffy and tired and I just need something to cool my skin down. So this is it. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side. I think it runs about 50 bucks or so. But as you can see, it's a pretty decent sized jar. It's gonna last you a while. A little bit goes a long way. So I feel like you really get your money's worth with this. Um, if you are interested, I know that Sephora sells a sample pack of like I think it's like six or seven of Peter Thomas Roth masks, and this is one of them. I think it's for like 25 or $35 or something. So it's a pretty good price, and you can sample all the different masks. You can sample this one specifically, so you can actually test it out before investing in the big, um, the big version. It smells so good. It makes you feel like you're just in this beautiful, fresh rose garden first thing in the morning and um, it's just great. So I really love this one. If you're looking for something to just freshen up your skin and calm it down, definitely, definitely think you should try this out. Okay, next up, I actually have another product by Herbivore. Um, this is the Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. Um, as you guys can see, it's really almost empty because I use this all the time. It's great for spritzing in the morning, just kind of waking your skin up, or if it's really hot outside and you just need something to refresh your face a little bit, this is great for that. Uh, but I also actually use this before I apply makeup. Um, I use this as a setting spray also. Um, and you can also use it to dampen your brushes or your beauty blender um, if you want to either intensify the pigmentation of like, your eyeshadow or something, or if your makeup is looking really matte and heavy and it's just kind of sitting on top of your skin and it hasn't really melted into your skin properly, you can dampen your beauty blender with this and then just kind of work the product in and it'll sort of help melt the makeup into your skin and just look a little bit more natural. So I really like this stuff because it's kind of an all-purpose spray. You can use it for pretty much anything. Um, I will say, even though it says rose hibiscus, it's not as rose forward when you smell it. It has a little bit of a strong scent to it. 
Um, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's the hibiscus. I'm not positive, but um, it doesn't have as strong of like a rose scent as you might be thinking. After I spray it, I wait like 20 seconds before I inhale because it kind of tickles my nose and makes me want to sneeze. Um, and I know that doesn't sound that great, but I promise you it works really, really well. Um, it's a great multi-purpose product to have. Um, just tiny little things so you can keep it in your purse with you. Um, if you need to just reset your makeup or if you're kind of creasing and you need something to just hydrate a little bit so you can um, work the makeup back into your creases and kind of uh, blur out those lines, this is good to keep on hand. Um, and overall, you know, coconut water, it's hydrating. It's good for this heat. Um, so I definitely recommend this product um, if you're looking for something quick and easy to just keep in your makeup bag. This next product is uh, by Way, which if you haven't heard um, of it before, this is the hair care line that Jen Atkin came out with. Um, I've been using the Way spray, the Wave spray um, by Way for a while now, and it works really well. I know I've talked about that before on Insta Stories and on my blog and stuff, but um, I actually found this when I was checking out at Sephora you know all those little tiny products that they keep in line, that marketing strategy, I fall for that every time. Without fail, I will pick up like two extra things. So I'm like, oh, it's only five bucks. Oh yes, I definitely need this micro mini size of a lipstick that I already own in a full size. But anyway, good job Sephora, because that works. So it's a rose hair and body oil, but I do not use this in my hair. But for those of you who either have colored hair or maybe your um, the tips of your hair a little bit dry, um, maybe you're prone to split ends or your hair just gets dry from maybe using a flat iron or a curling iron a lot or if you just have coarse hair, um, this is really good if you wanna work it into your ends a little bit. Um, but I primarily use this um, on my body. I actually mix this with body lotion. Um, I use the Jergens Ultra Healing something something. I can't remember what it is, but um, it's just like a drugstore body lotion for extra dry skin. And I will use one pump of that and then two pumps of this guy and then just work it in and then apply it to my arms, my legs, anywhere that I'm feeling super dry and it works so well. I have not noticed any transfer onto my clothes or onto furniture or anything like that. So I know you're thinking, okay, I'm putting oil all over my legs and then I'm gonna put on like a dress or something. It's definitely gonna transfer, but I have not experienced that at all. Um, but like I said, I'm a desert baby and it shows my skin is so dry. I have like alligator skin at all times. So maybe I just absorb this extra, extra fast. But um, I really like this stuff. It works really well. Um, it pairs well with lotion. It blends in really quickly. Um, and it's rose-based, so it smells really good. Um, so if you have excess on your hands, you can just work it into your wrists or like back here. Um, and it kind of serves as like a lotion, or not a lotion, a perfume also. Um, it's great to keep on hand. It's not a very big size. I think this is 1.5 ounces, so it's TSA friendly, and it can kind of double as lotion and a perfume. Also, if your hair is a little bit frizzy or it's a little bit dry, um, really you can use this for a lot of different things. So if you're interested and you're a sucker like me for the tiny products in the Sephora checkout line, I definitely think you should, you should uh, try this out. Okay, and then last but definitely not least, um, this actually technically was not supposed to make it into the video, but then I spotted it as I was about to film, and I was like, oh, this would be a really good one to include. Uh, this is the Jo Malone Velvet Rose and Oud Cologne that they make. Um, it smells really, really good. It's a little bit on the muskier, heavier side. It's not as light and floral as you might be thinking. Um, I got this as a Christmas present to myself a couple years ago and I've been using it nonstop since then. Um, I do prefer perfumes that are a little bit on the heavier side because I feel like if they're too light and floral, they kind of just disappear after like 30 minutes and perfumes are expensive. So if I'm investing the money in an expensive perfume, I want it to last a really long time. And I've noticed that this compared with some of the other ones that I use, um, I can smell this on myself for a really long time. If I am putting on like a t-shirt and I had sprayed this 
when I wore it the last time. I can still smell it on my clothes, which is really nice. And um, more than any other product, when I use this one, um, I frequently get stopped by people and they're like, oh, you smell so good, what are you wearing? So I know that it actually lasts longer because throughout the day, people can still smell it on me when I walk by. Um, but if you happen to spot this at a Jo Malone counter, I think that you should pick this up if you are into scents that are a little bit heavier, a little bit more on the cologne side. Um, but this is definitely rose forward. Um, and it just smells so good. Um, you kind of can't go wrong with Jo Malone. They always, they always do a good job, but this is for sure a favorite of mine. Okay, so that's it for all of my favorite rose-based products. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you found it informative and you were inspired to maybe try out some of these products. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, DM me, leave a message in the comments. Um, as always, if you are testing out a new product on your skin, um, definitely do a test patch first. You never know how your skin is gonna react. Um, I am not a dermatologist, I'm not a professional. I am just giving these recommendations based off of my own experience. Um, so do your research, look at the ingredients, know what's in the product, know what you're putting on your skin before. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment, DM me, email me. Um, and as always, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching the video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are up to date with all my new videos um, and as always I appreciate you guys and I love you guys